Welcome everybody to the Summit Middle School ribbon cutting. This is a fantastic celebration of really a dream come true for our students and for our community in Summit School District. Uh, our project started, boy, three, four years ago of really um, thinking about what do we want for our kids? What do we want this, um, these learning environments to look like for our students? And some of middle school, I think, hit it out of the ballpark when they started to dream. And so tonight we are celebrating the middle school ribbon cutting to um, celebrate all the great and fantastic work that's happened here, but also to celebrate the work of the people that made it happen. And also the future, of course, for our kids and what will happen as they learn and thrive in these learning spaces. So I want to um, welcome some folks. Kate Hudnut, come on up here, board member, um, that are here tonight uh, to just say thank you. Really, we have people from our community. If you're a community member out there in the audience, just give a little wave. If you're a teacher, if you're a student, if you're just an interested community member that loves our schools, give a big shout out, a big wave. Thank you for being here. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I am going to turn the mic over in just a minute, but um, really the, the most important thing I can do tonight is to thank our community for what they have done to make this possible. This is actually our eighth ribbon cutting over the past like less, uh, about a year, which is remarkable. That doesn't happen in communities that don't support what happens in our schools. And so I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of this, for our kids. I feel so thankful that I get to come into these environments and see what kids are doing. So thank you very much for being here. We're gonna have um, some people that will do some more thank yous and welcoming um, more of our community. Uh, we have up here behind us, we have some uh, very special people that are here tonight to celebrate. They might wanna say a word or two. Dan, do you wanna say hi or do you just wanna like say, yay go? How about Karn? We're so excited to have this beautiful very professional space and safe space for our children. Thank you, Karn. Jamie? Uh, you look like an interviewer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, listen, we're glad to be part of this planning process for all the, uh, the school projects. Uh, and we have a great investment here. The Sheriff's Office does with our school resource officer program. So Jake Straw over there is our resource officer. But, uh, High five and kid. You know, it's, a, it's not only a warm space for your kids, but it's also a safe space. So congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you so much. Um, I want to give a shout out to our NV5 team. They're standing over here in the background. That's what they've been doing the whole time, holding us up, filling all of our needs from the background. So thank you very much to um, our NV5. NV5 is our owner's rep. Thank you so much. We have our contractors here tonight um, from um, FCI working day and night, literally, um, to finish up these projects in an amazing short amount of time and also becoming really kind of part of the community here at Summit Middle School. So thank you to all of you. We really appreciate you. I'm going to turn it over now. Oh, I can't forget our school board. We have some school board members back here. Um, thank you so much. Our school board, you know, they do all of the work also behind the scenes and for free. But they are representing you every um, day in what happens in our buildings with our kids, um, how we support our staff, and in turn, um, really giving the community what we need in terms of strong schools. So thank you. Um, Summit Middle School, I know that um, Mr. Guevara is going to talk a little bit about that. But we have two of our assistant principals back here, Jeff Shabbat and Nell Biggs. And of course, they are working tirelessly for our students at Summit Middle School. I'm going to turn it over first to um, Hope Gutierrez. And Hope worked with us through a master planning process and then um, was selected to do the design for the Summit Middle School. And I know that it was um, specifically something that um, during the design process that really inspired him, I think, to think about what learning could look like for our kids and now it's reality. So Hope, thank you so much and here you go. Well, hi everybody. Um, I think um, it all, it's always easier and more fun, by the way, to have a community that knows what they want. And that's what happened with Summit, uh, with the Summit School District. Uh, vision 2020, uh, there was a vision on what education needed to look like for the next five years or so. 
So that made it really fun and enjoy and, and enjoy an experience. But I would say that uh, what makes it even more fun is to go through a design thinking process. And middle schoolers here, do you guys remember what the first step in design thinking is? <laughs> no? You don't have that class? Okay. So the first step, and we, we met with design, with design, with the, uh, the design classes uh, as we started working on this, but the first step in design thinking is empathy. You guys remember that? No? So empathy, what, what does that mean? We need to, as, as your architect, as your designer, we had to put ourselves in your shoes. And one thing that was very unique about uh, Summit Middle School um, was that you told us you needed, you needed us to help you build community. Um, I think for the first time, and we, if you've seen the other elementary schools, every single elementary school has been very unique. Breckenridge, you know, they, they said, we want to honor our environment, we want to have the mountains inside of the media center, and they do now. Um, Frisco, they had a focus on STEM. They wanted to honor uh, makerspace, a project-based learning space, and they have it now on a pedestal. But for the first time, I think, um, kids from Summit County meet in Summit Middle School. So we heard from parents, we heard from your teachers, that they wanted us to help you meet each other, create a better community, and, man, I... <laughs> It's break down because that's, that, that's what these this, this spaces are designed to do. The media center, you've seen the media center with a tiered bench that's meant for kids and teachers to gather, to get together, to get to know each other, to strike a conversation, to build a bridge. Um, and again, besides the instructional meaning besides, behind these spaces, the community building is what makes it, I don't know, made it way more unique and way more exciting for uh, for us as your designers. Uh, now you have the space. I would say if you exercise empathy, you're going to make that happen. So congratulations to you all. Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Guevara, principal here. And uh, yeah, just to back up what Hope just shared, these spaces are really designed to build community and a new type of, of teaching that revolves around collaboration, revolves around interdisciplinary studies, um, and revolves around a strong relationship between the students and the teachers. So this area, this was an old lab that you're standing in right here, another one. This has been totally opened up, blown out, all with that, uh, those goals in mind. And so we really want to thank the architects for helping to put that vision into, into place. I want to thank the crew over at FCI. They are awesome. Um, we've had a great relationship with them, and I really uh, I think somebody shared, you know, they've become kind of a part of the school. We see them around, uh, Javier and um, Austin. Those guys have just been really wonderful to work with. I want to thank these two over here with NV5. They've really helped us to uh, reinforce uh, what our vision really is and what that can look like and, and help us bring it to fruition. Um, and really just to thank everyone in Summit County for passing the bond and for creating uh, these, the opportunity for these spaces to exist for our kids. So these are just two of the spots that we have in the school. Each of our learning communities on each side got an additional 12, well, total of 12 classrooms, two new art rooms. Our cafeteria is probably double in size. It's really been neat to see all those spaces and how they're being utilized by kids. Tonight's the ribbon cu cutting ceremony, but we've kind of snuck in and we've been using some of these spaces already. And that's been kind of the best part, to see kids and teachers interacting in a new way, interacting in a really positive way, and building some community uh, here in the middle school. So thank you, Summit County. Thank you so much, Greg. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to cut the ribbon. We're going to, um, the tallest child is going to grab the scissors. <laughs> okay, we'll do a countdown, starting with three, two, one, and then we'll cut. Got to hold it with both hands. Okay, we need kids holding ribbons. Hold that end. Hold that end. Three, two, one. Cut the ribbon. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Take a look around at the amazing spaces. Thanks so much for coming.